What's up guys, today I wanna to talk about the Cerberus Kerberus airdrop. Let's jump right in. So, Cerberus is the three-headed canine meme coin and NFT project launching on Cosmos. We scroll down, you can actually see here that they plan to drop 71% of their supply in airdrops. 70, let that sink in for a second, 71%. 6.19% is going to the team, the community pool is 11.3, and then the growth fund is also another 11.3%. Wild, right? Anyway, let's find out exactly how we can make sure that we get part of that 71%. All right, guys, so let's take a look at what Cerberus is. The Cerberus NFT project will follow up the Cerberus mainnet chain launch in 2022. The Cerberus airdrop, pronounced Kerberus, will be dropped to those staking slash delegating Chihuahua, Osmosis, and Cosmos. Cerberus will be a community-led meme coin that will allow the community to vote on various proposals on the future use of the coin. The Cerberus blockchain is a completely permissionless blockchain where anyone can join the network and run a validator. The community will have the ability to gain value from the coin by staking Cerberus with validators and liquidity pools. The first planned liquidity pool will be a Cerberus Chihuahua LP. All right, real quick, before we move on, I'm starting to notice a pattern with a lot of these newer chains that are releasing. A lot of them don't seem to have a specific use case. They're kind of like, all right, I'm just gonna build a coin, I'll throw it out there, and then I'll let people decide what they wanna use it for which is all well and good if people come up with a decent use for it. But otherwise, like they said, it's pretty much just a meme coin that might have value later. Anyway, I digress. Let's continue. In addition, the community will determine future use case for the coin via governance proposals submitted by any holder of the Cerberus coin. Cerberus will have an initial supply of 97 billion coins with 69 billion Cerberus 71.13% being distributed in airdrop to token holders in the Cosmos universe. The remainder will be allocated to the community pool, growth fund, and team fund. I mean, that's awesome that they're gonna drop 71% of the tokens to the community. I really hope that it's a fair launch. If this is just another way for whales to get a crap ton of these tokens, uh, I mean, I'm gonna participate obviously, but I think in the long run, it would just be better if it's a fair launch where everybody who's delegating gets a split portion. As we saw before, 71% is going to this airdrop. So let's make sure we get a piece of that, right? The community pool. 11 billion Cerberus coins will be locked into a community pool and allocated for governance proposals voted on by the community. Another 11 billion Cerberus will be allocated to the growth of the Cerberus ecosystem. Smash that like button and subscribe for more great videos like these. And if you want to chat, join the Morecoin Discord. It's a great place to learn from and talk to other DeFi and yield farming enthusiasts. And best of all, it's completely free. All right, back to it. Which usually means like partnerships, providing liquidity incentives, that kind of thing. Airdrop pool. 69 billion servers will be allocated to airdrops. Adam, Osmosis, and Chihuahua delegators will receive airdrops. We will release more details of exact airdrop ratio to Chihuahua, Osmos, and Adam holders as we get closer to the snapshot dates. All right, so what this means is that the snapshot hasn't been taken yet. So if you're not staking Adam, if you're not staking Osmos, if you're not staking Chihuahua, now is the time to do it so that you can make sure you're staking by the snapshot date. We never know beforehand when the snapshot's gonna happen. Hopefully you're able to get in before this happens. Now let's take a look at the team fund. Six billion servers will be allocated to the team. The first team vest date will occur six months after mainnet launch. The team fund will vest over a 24 month period. The exact vest dates and amounts will be updated here after mainnet launch. There will be two types of airdrops, giveaway airdrops and airdrops to those who have staked to validators. Giveaway airdrops are for completing tasks and token airdrops are for those staking tokens in the Cosmos ecosystem. Chihuahua delegators will get 27 billion Cerberus. Osmos delegators will get 20 billion, and Osmos delegators will also get 20 billion. Like they said before, the exact ratio of the airdrop will be determined after the snapshot is taken. It looks here like they've set aside 2 billion Cerberus 
for giveaway airdrops. Note that the airdrops will only be available to those who self-custody their assets. That means if you hold Chihuahua, Atom, or Osmosis on any centralized exchange, like Coinbase, Binance, etc., you will not be eligible for the Cerberus airdrop. So make sure that you're using your own like Kepler wallet. I have another video I'm working on and exactly how to set that up. So check that out if you haven't already set up a Kepler wallet. All right, so it looks like Cerberus's mainnet launch is going to be on March 15th. As of right now, it seems that there is no minimum you need to stake in order to receive the airdrop. So even if you can just get one of each of these staked, you should at least be able to participate. So it looks like the Huawei snapshot is going to be early in March. So I was just going through the um, frequently asked questions, and here's one that says, why not give everyone the same amount no matter how much they're staking? Well, they say there's, there are multiple reasons behind our reason for doing the airdrop this way. Those who are early supporters of the network, such as Huawei, Adam, and Osmo, and invested in securing those chains by staking based on the merit of their efforts, we don't believe in getting something for nothing. Avoids individuals trying to game the system by creating multiple wallet addresses and staking the minimum to claim an airdrop numerous times in different wallets. So the second point, that makes sense to me. The first one, it it always just kind of feels like it's another way of making sure that people who have a lot of money or have a lot of a huge amount of tokens have the most of these tokens. Because if it's just an, and this is just my opinion, right? But if this is just a meme token that gives you the ability to vote in governance, then you would want the most amount of people to have a similar say in said governance, not just whales who are going to invest in their own financial interest. Again, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Uh, I definitely would like to hear some differing opinions if you think differently than I do. Before I go, I just want to leave you guys with the current launch roadmap, right? So they're going to launch the Cerberus mainnet hopefully next month, deploy the Cerberus block explorer, and then they want to set up an IBC relay between Chihuahua, Cosmos, and Osmosis chains. Next, they're going to try to list Cerberus on Osmosis decks, and after that, it seems, that's when we're gonna start to see the airdrops happen. Keep this in mind when you're deciding what or how you wanna proceed. Again, none of this is ever financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You should always do your own research. That's how you don't get wrecked. Let me know what you guys think of this airdrop down in the comments below, or come and join the Discord and let's chat. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, we can keep talking about getting more coins.